YouTube. Happy Saturday. I'm going to show you how to do these rear brakes on this 2009 Chevy Silverado. Anyways, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. So I'm going to make videos like this to make your life easier. Let's get started. Now, you will need one of these spring hold down tools. I mean, you can probably try some other methods if you want to. <clears throat> but these are cheap. If you can afford the rear brakes on here, you can afford this tool. First, take these hold down springs off. Now, the way I'm doing this is just the way I do it. So, this is why I do the videos I do. Now, I'm going to take a pair of little needle nose vice grips here. Tighten down a little bit. Take off the spring. And just lay everything to position it came off. And you always have a, a reference side. If you don't remember where things go, you can look at it. Never take the side, both sides apart, especially if you're new to this. Even I don't do that. And I've been doing this for 25 years. Alright, now we're going to take our screwdriver here. Just kind of pry out the shoes. Take your bottom spring out. Now I'm reusing this hardware. So I'm not going to discard it. You can buy new hardware if you want. There's nothing wrong with this hardware. It's just more money. It's your, it's your money, not my money. Now we're going to spread the shoes. Let's get them out, out of the way. Just pull out on them to get your adjuster out. And we're going to go ahead and wind this adjuster all the way back. Probably a good idea to clean it up a little bit. Parts cleaner. That way it doesn't hang up. All right. Put it up there. Now you can get this spring off pretty easily. Hook some of the back like that. I'm going to drop my stuff there. All right, now the fun part, this guy. Take your vice grips and line them accordingly. A little tighter. You're catching this right here, that pin. That's what you're catching. See how we're starting to get it bend back and cooperate with us. Wind it a little bit more. A little bit more. Once you start seeing a little daylight, now if you get a good pair of shoes, you're going to get that new clip. And I just ripped my glove in this little shim right here. This is the original shim on the other side. Now we got all that out of the way. Going to clean this area up real good. Go ahead and hit the hardware too. Good enough. Run out of brake cleaner, anyways. All right. Let me go get a couple rags here. I'm gonna change my glove too. Yeah, 
yeah, these, this brand sucks. My tool guy didn't have the diamond grips on the truck, so I had to opt for these nitrile. And they're large, but they're tight as crap. And you look, they tear, just putting them on, they tear. Let's see if I can manage to salvage. My hands are sweaty too, it doesn't help. Jesus, sorry about the painstaking viewing of changing my glove for y'all. Good enough. All right, now that that's dry, I'm gonna kind of wipe it down. We're gonna take a little bit of grease and just hit the contact points. Where metal on metal makes contact. A little bit on your wheel cylinder too. A little bit over here. You can see the contact points. That. Go back over it one more time. I don't want to get it on the shoes. A little bit over here. All right. Okay. Now. Take our shoe. Shim. Now the vice grips again. I'm going to have to extend them out a good bit. Keep doing that until you get it all the way in. All right, now I'm gonna crimp it. Nice and tight, like that. Just like that. All right. Go ahead and take your pin. Both these springs are the same on both sides, so there's no reason to note that. I just didn't grab that one yet because it's kind of caught in there. So. Make sure you're seated on everything. Okay. Now we're gonna grab the other shoe with the pin. And grab your big spring here. Put that towards the back. Just kind of use the shoe as your tool. Take your adjuster, facing this outwards. actually put this side in first goes that way towards the back okay all right push them together and then put the pin back in Did you lose one? No, oh, you got it? No, I'm looking for a wheel lock. I got the key, but because I 
I know I left it home. Yeah. Maybe you didn't. Maybe. Nothing fell, so. Sorry. Sorry about that. Yo, everybody wants to mess with me. Every time I'm doing a video. Nope. Let's make sure we seat this little spring. All right, this little clip. Whoop. Now you got me dropping stuff. Push that towards the back. spring hook it in the right there grab our handy dandy vice grips again hold it nice and tight get back in there a little looser Put on that little arm right there. Now the bottom spring. Pull your shoes out. Yeah. Hey, Um, just uh, put it in a handicap down there. You're good. Thanks, brother. You got that car blocking you? Oh, sh really? I guess wherever you can put it, man. Honestly, um... He said put it on this side. There's nothing here. And I was like... Yeah, right. Yeah. Sorry, y'all. I got a car being towed here. Move that navigator. The key's in it. Yeah. Drop it right there. <clears throat> oh, everybody times everything just right. She's not getting nothing. She just wasted our time. She okay. Whatever. Then, someone. Wait, am I on video? Yeah. Someone needs to do the hey, you too. the oil change. Yeah, I'm your it's I'm your Instagram at real Ain't DR nobody right talking to me all damn day long. As soon as I start doing a video, you got everybody from every damn corner. Yeah, y'all know. Hang you know, it up, hang it up for the old chain. They call me the baddest bitch at times, so you already know, you know. Go away. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna edit you out. You just Are made you my job. Wait, did they do the oil change? No, that's what I just said. Hang Are it up. You Bye. <laughs> oh man, these clowns at work. Everybody wants to be on video. Y'all don't even see me. See everybody else though. I hate editing, so I'm not gonna edit that out. Just makes my job harder. This is the perks of my videos. You get to actually see the real world when you're in the field. on clicking that about that far out at first and just take your drum a little bit too tight I'm gonna back it off a little bit just pull that little arm out now you can adjust these from the back side too. There's a little rubber plug back there. But I just find it easier to do it this way. Because if you have to take it back a couple notches, you can't do that with that plug. Just tell it's dragging a little bit. And that's how you do it, y'all. Anyway, sorry about all the interruptions. It's just the story of my life. So y'all have a good day. Please check like. Hope y'all like this video. Sorry about all that shit going on, but it is what it is. Subscribe.